Alrighty. Okay, so we are live on Facebook. First time ever. So excited. Um, if you guys can do double duty, go check it out. See how that's showing up. I would imagine there's a little bit of a delay. Um, but welcome to another, I guess, week of our Spotlight Series uh, virtual. This week we have Hyperice. We love Hyperice so much. Um, they're one of our um, new members from last year, uh, or I should say an inaugural member from last year. And it's been a little while since we've had a chat with Haley. So we're excited to have her back. She's gonna talk about post recovery um, for um, activities that we do here in the mountains all the time. So without further, you know, butchering this conversation, I'm gonna hand it on over to Haley, welcome. Thanks, Holly. Hi, everybody. Thanks for hopping on with us today. Um, before we get into high price, I thought I'd give you a little bit of my background, um, just to put a little bit more to the face other than, you know, just all these cool tech products that we have. But I started using high price products actually as an athlete myself um, in college, the Hypervolt and the Normatec specifically were the products that we had. I played volleyball at the University of Wisconsin. Um, and then I played beach volleyball for a year at Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge. And then I did play one year professionally in France. So that's kind of when I first started using all the Hyper Ice products. Normatec was a big part of my recovery as an athlete, especially on double days specifically. So we'll touch on the products a little bit and how they can best be incorporated. Um, we wanted to go APRE activity and not just APRE ski because we know that in the Rocky Mountain region, you guys are all year round. It's not just ski, even though that's kind of what everybody associates with it right away in the region. So we just wanted to kind of touch on the different, you know, options that we have, whether, you know, your resort spa or a day spa, med spa, there's a lot of different ways that the products can fit um, for all the locals that, you know, are there all the time, you know, participating in activities from mountain biking to climbing to skiing, and then also the travelers that can take some self-care tools home. So we'll cover a lot of different options. Um, it's not gonna take too much of your time. I wanna just touch on them briefly and kind of explain what they look like or what they've looked like for some of our current partners. Uh, but then we can always follow up later in chat or if you guys have any questions specifically with what you're doing, please interrupt me. I mentioned that a little bit earlier, but I would love for you guys to chime in. So that's a little bit about me. Um, I've been in the spa space, definitely with Hyperice for the entire pandemic. So I've seen the roller coaster. So it's definitely been an interesting ride, but we will go ahead and get started. I'm first going to play a video for you guys. It's a commercial that we launched a couple of months ago, bring some fun Hyperice energy um, so we'll start with that just to get things going, and then we'll start diving into the spa and hospitality nitty gritty with Hyperice products. So thank you guys again for hopping on. Okay. I may have to disconnect my headphones because sometimes when I use these, you can't hear the sound. So one second. All right, can you guys hear me okay? Okay. This is, um, to start off, this is Juju Smith-Schuster. So I don't know if we have any Pittsburgh Steelers fans out there, but he kicks it off. So here we go. Hyperice has found something special in their new group of A-list athletes. It's another star-studded addition to Hyperice and Company. Mahomes delivers the performance of Super Bowl royalty. While Naomi Osaka powers her, way, powers her way to another Grand Slam title. On the court, Anthony Davis has erupted like a volcano on a bad day. Ricky Fowler and Kelly Slater continue their mastery on land and on sea. And Christian McCaffrey's blazing speed perfectly complements Russell Westbrook's rim rocking dunks. But it's innovation that remains a standout in this brand. It's easy to predict that with this technology and these icons, Hyperice's success can only continue to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And grow, grow. Okay, 
So that's a fun thing to start with. Um, <laughs> thanks. Let me reconnect my headphones really quick. Just because the sound's always better. So cool, by the way. So cool. Thanks. Can you hear me now? It took a second. Okay. Um, yeah. So we like to start with that because our DNA has, you know, it started in athletics. So now the products have really, you know, kind of blown up in a lot of different channels, whether it's endurance, whether that's the medical space, whether it's spa, hospitality. Um, we always started in athletics. So we like to highlight that since that is the very beginning. Um, I know Patrick Mahomes is one of our one of our proud partners at High Price. So it was a little sad that, you know, the Chiefs didn't bring it home at the Super Bowl, but he's a big supporter of High Price and we are partnered with the NFL. So that was really a fun experience for us. Um, just a quick little tidbit. We had Hypervolt Pluses on the sidelines at the Super Bowl in a hyper tank, which is a, it's a black box with wheels and they can charge in it and they wheel it around the sidelines. So that was fun for us to be present there. But we have a lot of really cool athletes. Lindsey Vaughn was actually um, one of the very first, you know, athletes that we worked with when Hyper Ice started. So we're deeply rooted in the ski community because she was a big part of growing it for us, definitely. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and if anyone, does anybody have any questions? Um, I'm sure there won't be too many questions on that fun commercial, but just to ask, does anybody have any questions on the athletes or partnerships or anything? Cool. All right. And you can always ask them in the chat as well, because I know Holly is handling that. Okay. How do I, I don't know how I've been doing this all pandemic and I still sometimes struggle with display. Let's see. Present. Oh. Hmm. Oh, view. We do see it, just so you know. I know. I just wanted to make it like the, oh, here we go. This is what I wanted, full screen mode. <laughs> Okay, can we see it nice and pretty now? Okay, so we're gonna go walk through the whole spa deck briefly and you know give you a good overview of the things that we've been working on um, and really tie it to the Rocky Mountain region as we go. So when we first broke into the spa space, which we'll cover a little bit later in our We Care campaign, but the whole idea was therapist longevity was the beginning because we wanted to help them move better have their treatments be more comfortable? How can we help them recover in between treatments? That was where we started. And then from there, we really wanted to see how, how could we redefine the full wellness experience in the spa and beyond the spa. So as we mentioned, um, as we watched the commercial, it started in athletics. That's a huge part of our DNA, but very quickly um, it changed to helping everyone on earth move, live, and be better. And that's always been our mission. And so that's, what's really sparked our motivation to help, you know, everyone in all different channels, whether it's therapists in between treatments, whether it's guests coming into the hotel, how can we elevate their experience? How can we help them find something to take home and move, you know, and move better at home, even when they're not maybe at your location, how can we really expand that? Is the sharing working? We're not seeing your page change. Okay, it's that's what it's saying. One second. Sorry, and I'm not sure how. <laughs> Why don't we just do it like this? I'll just make this full screen. This is fine. Okay, so this was um, when I was talking about how we started in athletics. And then basically we wanted to find a way to elevate everybody's quality of life. How could we help, you know, like we mentioned, give them tools they can take home. How can we find ways to make, you know, their pursuit of athletics their, you know, whether it's after skiing, if it's after mountain biking, if it's after a long day of treatments, how can we help them move better and really get the longevity out of what they're doing and help them not only perform better, but feel better. And that was when we really started working with, you know, therapists, spa directors, how can we find a way to work with you guys, collaborate on how to get the most out of these products? Because it's not 
really a one size fits all model. We have ideas, we have projects that we've worked on, but it's the feedback that we've gotten from the partners that we've worked with. Like, how can we take, you know, a specific product mix and build an experience at your location that's different than somewhere else? How can we, you know, best serve your guest clientele? It's not going to look the same for everybody. And that's something that has really been a huge opportunity for us. And it's been really fun to work with all of the partners that we do have and find what works best for them and how we can create a premium wellness experience. These are our products. Um, there's a lot of different product lines. I'm not gonna spend too much time diving into them because you can always kind of check out our product catalog. It's super cool. I'll send it over as a follow-up. But just to touch briefly, um, percussion technology, it's the most popular. It's most likely the one that you guys are most familiar with. Um, that would be our Hypervolt line. We have three different models, um, which you'll check out. And one is the Hypervolt, our flagship percussion product, the Hypervolt Plus, which is meant for fitness enthusiasts who are really looking for the most power. And then the Hypervolt Go, which is actually a new release. It's been great in the hospitality space because it's our most travel-friendly Hypervolt product that we have. And then we have our compression line, um, which is the Norma Tex that I mentioned. Those have really taken off as well um, in the Rocky Mountain region, I would say, because you guys do have such an active clientele base. And then we have vibration. So there's a couple different products in that category, whether it's the Hypersphere Mini, which you see here and that Holly has actually. Um, and then we have a bigger version of that in the Hypersphere and our Viper 2.0. And basically those are super popular in the fitness space because people are very familiar with rolling out with foam rollers there. And then thermal technology, also really big in the Rocky Mountain region as of recently. It's cold there, it's snowy, a great, you know, a great product to strap on at the end of a long day outside in the cold. And what those products are is heat and vibration. So what you're looking at in that image is the Venom back. And that has three different vibration patterns, three different heat settings. Um, it can really help soothe sore back muscles. We also have it for the shoulder and the knee as well. Um, so if you have specific issues, we have a lot of different products. And then lastly, ice compression technology, which is great for people looking to recover that are used to using ice. Maybe they have specific problem areas that they need to ice often. It's a great recovery product as well. So these all have their different applications. I would say today we're really going to focus on the compression technology and the Normatec, the percussion technology and the Hypervolt and the thermal technology in the Venom line. But all of these products have, you know, they fit in different experiences differently. So we can definitely cover maybe ones that would work best for your location. Do we have any questions on the product line? I feel like that's a lot of information before we move on. So far, seems like there's, oh, wait, there is one. Love the compression boots is a comment from John. Okay at uh, the Brown Palace in downtown Denver. Yeah, no doubt. What did he say? He, I know he's he tried them before. He, I mean, he thinks they're amazing, you know? Um, they're awesome. Like I mentioned, I use them. Um, well, I used them before we even acquired Norma Tech, but I also used them before I, you know, even had a job and I yeah. absolutely loved them. They make you feel like you have a fresh new pair of legs. Definitely. And we'll touch on what the different applications for those within the spa and hospitality space, but those are a fabulous product. That team has been awesome to, you know, bring on board and we really enjoyed it. So those are near and dear to my heart. I had yeah. some pain and suffering back in my <laughs> college days. So it's awesome to have those now as a part of our product line for sure. Awesome. Cool. So I mentioned the We Care. Um, this is what really brought us into the spawn hospitality space, like I mentioned, was our dedication to finding a way to help therapists feel better. And we've gotten a lot of feedback initially on the Hypervolt because that was a way that therapists not only could recover in between treatment, but also provide treatments that, you know, help their guests get the most, most out of specifically deep tissue was what we've gotten the most feedback from. How we can really warm up that tissue instead of having the therapist go in cold um, for a deep tissue treatment, that was kind of the first start. But We Care has kind of been our, our motivation when we first jumped in and it hasn't changed. We're always gonna be there to support your therapist in the back bar, find tools that also work for them. 
Awesome. So kind of jumping into services. So within each spa, like I mentioned, we want to find whether it's an enhancement or a treatment offering or an express treatment offering, what works best for your guests and what works best for your team. So we're always going to find ways to work with you guys and put together, you know, opportunities that your guests are going to enjoy. What might work at one spa might not work in another. For example, on here, we have our contactless services and protocols. We have those available. If you have a guest clientele base that has been a little bit more wary to come back to, you know, full touch, then maybe this is something we could help you implement. But we also have a lot of partners that have said they've never seen their guests more excited to come back and have a hands-on treatment before. So it doesn't look the same for everyone, but we can definitely find ways to put together services that work with your team. And kind of along those same lines, um, it looks different for everyone. So at heightened uncertainty, we did launch these contactless services and protocols, but what's been awesome with those is that we've taken that specific material and you know, broken it off into you know uh, an enhancement offering, or taken what's inside those protocols and turned it into a sport recovery massage treatment on your menu. We can take a lot of the information. There's a lot of science in those contactless services and protocols. A lot of really good material that helps us create um, unique and individual treatments within each location. So while maybe the specific protocol doesn't fit, like I mentioned, we can find a way to kind of work it and make it fit exactly what you're looking for. Also on the fitness side of things. So this is especially applicable to those of you that have a fitness aspect to your location. Not everybody does, um, but this is a very natural fit. So our products, they started in athletic space. Most people see these and automatically think sports or automatically think, oh, I saw you know that football player on TV using the Hypervolt Plus or something like that. So it's a very natural transition into fitness. Um, but if you have that offering, we can also find ways to incorporate our products into programming. Maybe you guys have hit classes that you're offering at your location, or maybe you even just have specifically from the spa, a lot of partners have like stretch courses where they have somebody go and they do assisted stretching classes. We have stretch protocols with our products. That could be something that fits you, um, but it's different for everyone. And then this is something that's really taken off this year. So this is specific to obviously resort and hotel locations, but if you have people that are staying on site and you have rooms, in-room wellness has definitely taken off, I would say, especially in the past two months, a project a lot of people are taking on and we're definitely there to support. We can put together something similar to this or whatever works for you, but a checkout program from the spa has been something a lot of people have been interested in as well. And then this is just a way that we can incorporate self-service. So this applies to day spas, resort spas, all different kinds of locations, because you might have a lounge or even a steam room that's closed and you want to find a way to, you know, make up for those amenities that you can't currently offer. Um, I know we can find a lot of areas maybe that aren't being used or lounges that, oh, if you're already paying a premium to also use the amenities in your space, but your steam room and your sauna aren't open, how can we kind of mitigate that and still find something to offer a guest? So we'll help you, you know, think of areas or think of locations that maybe aren't being used um, to generate a lot of revenue or serve your guests. I know one thing that's been really popular in the Rocky Mountain region is recovery spaces. So you have a lot of guests and a lot of clients that are coming in, like we mentioned, that are just very active and coming right off the slopes or coming right off the mountain, whether it's in the summer or the winter. Um, and they can even pay, you know, maybe an express price to come in and use a recovery lounge for an hour, two hours, or some kind of membership fee where they can come five times a month or something like that. There's always going to be new ways to think of wellness, um, and we're there to support that for you guys. If you have any ideas, there's no idea too big. And then this is education. So this slide kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like for educational support. But similar to everything else, um, there's no ask that's too big. So we do have free online continuing education courses. We have protocols, we have videos, whether it's for the front desk or for your therapists. And we're always available to do right now, um, just virtual, but we can always put together a live training for your team. Um, if we need to do two, we can do two. 
we're going to be here for whatever education that you need for you and your team to make you feel comfortable with the products um, and you can really incorporate them and feel good about it. So if you ever need anything in terms of education to get things kickstarted, you can always let us know. And then that kind of naturally segues us into retail. So with all of the really cool wellness experiences that we've built or we could build with you and your teams, it really becomes a natural, a natural transition to the retail experience. So a lot of the partners that we get initially are, you know, a lot of times they're therapists that are just using our products in treatment. They're not a wholesale partner of ours. They're not selling our products or even buying them from, you know, us, they're buying them online. And then they're having guests and clients that are asking, hey, where can I buy this? And they're directing them to our site. And that's not what we want when we have people that, you know, they're essentially a part of our team and are using our products every day with their clients. How can we support them and really put together a retail experience for them? And that is, you know, it's an option for anyone from a sole massage therapist to a resort spa. We can find a way to support, you know, any retail experience, whether you're someone with a retail section that can take one of these really cool POP displays with the Hypersphere Mini, or you're, like I said, a traveling massage therapist that has hypervolts in the back of your car. There's a way that we can support anyone with a cool and unique retail experience. Um, and these are just some really cool options, like the charging station, maybe in a fitness center or in a recovery lounge or this POP display. There's a lot of different things we can do. Um, but we just like to really emphasize that we love to get creative and put together something particular for all of your locations. And then lastly, you know, it's something that we are working to bring all over the world. We have really grown our international team this year. Um, we obviously started it in the U.S. and that's home base, but we have done a lot of really cool expansion, especially in 2020. I would definitely say the virtual, the virtual world has assisted in that. Now everyone's familiar hopping on calls on the computer. You don't necessarily have to travel everywhere to reach everywhere. Um, but it's really just our goal to take our technology and our tools and work with, you know, the experts like you guys and find ways to really elevate the full experience because the products themselves aren't going to do that. It takes the collaboration. So that's pretty much all I have um, in terms of the slide deck. But does anybody have? Yeah. Yes. Um, so are, are the, all of the devices really easy to clean? If you could touch on that a little bit and, and maybe yeah. guidance. Uh, yeah, absolutely. They're all super easy to clean. So whatever you're currently using to clean the equipment in your location, um, they will work on our products. They're very high quality material. They won't break down. Um, I know some people have asked me about alcohol, if that's too harsh, but it's not. Um, that will work on anything. And really the only thing that's a little bit unique would be the Venom products just because they're neoprene sleeves, but you can still just spray anything on them and that will disinfect them, even though it doesn't seem like it's a little bit different because you're not necessarily wiping it down. But if you spray disinfectant on those and they're also worn over the clothes, so it shouldn't be an issue um, at all. But yeah, very easy to clean which we didn't used to have to talk too much about, but now I feel like it's the first question. Yeah, I mean, in the spa space, I mean, sanitizing and disinfecting has certainly been, you know- It's always been up there. But now it's yeah. to a whole new level. We thought we were all clean before and now we really have to um, disinfect even more. Another question was um, in regards to the thermal technology, the, um, yes. the is it the Venom it's called? The, the back? Yes. So how much is the suggested price to add on to a spa service as an upgrade? Or even if you can touch on that with even any of these things, what do you recommend as that price point? Or what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we have just, I don't have it specifically for Venom, but just to give you guys an example, we have our cash-based services materials for all of our products. I'm scrolling quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but we put together these cool graphs that kind of show you like, you start with three hypervolts and you charge this much for an enhancement, you know, how much money can you make in a month, things like that. So we have um, materials like this, which I will definitely follow up with after the event. Um, but for Venom, you know, what we tell everyone kind of similar, I feel like I'm, you know, preaching the same thing over and over again, but it looks different for everyone. 
So some people are, you know, maybe they're just building this into a, an experience and they're not charging anything. And they just, you know, maybe they have some venoms in retail and they want people to experience them and it doesn't necessarily make sense for them to charge for it. Maybe they just want to make it a cool offering that they have. I know um, I was talking to one of our partners the other day and they have, you know, the oxygen offering um, where people can come in and sit and get oxygen after being out in the altitude all day. And they just kind of give them a hypervolt and say, hey, you can use this hypervolt, you know, while you're paying use oxygen. Um, so it really, it could, it's totally on a case by case basis. Some people like to say a dollar a minute is a good average. That's what we typically say, um, for any of our products is you can just kind of start with a dollar a minute, but if your menu maybe is priced a little bit differently than that, maybe it's more of a premium pricing menu and you want to have it kind of fit those other add-ons, it's totally up to you. Um, but to be honest, it's just going to be, it's going to be something that they'll pay for themselves very quickly if they're a paid enhancement, just because they don't, they don't run out. They're not lotion. That's going to be empty one day or aromatherapy oils that are going to run out. They're always going to recharge and power right back up. So I just say it's on a case by case basis, but a dollar a minute is kind of a good rule of thumb. Great advice. Um, are there any other questions um, that we can get answered before Haley moves on to the next topic or part of her presentation? Um, I know one of the questions, and certainly you can, you know, share this as well. Um, certainly for for you know spas that don't have these tools, these products um, in yet. Um, what, what would be, do you have, you know, minimum orders? Is it, you know, by the tool? Is it by the dollar amount? Does it vary depending on, you know, Normatec versus, you know, the other hyperace technology? Yeah. So we do have order minimums, um, and we do have price lists kind of it's tiered pricing is the format. And we can definitely share that, um, on a case by case basis with everyone when we follow up after the event. Um, but essentially what it looks like is when we get everybody started and we're partnering with, you know, any location or any, any new, you know, business, we want to find what fits that specific location. It's like I said, it's not a one size fits all. Some people have 20 treatment rooms and some people have four. It's not always going to be the same. So we don't want anyone to feel like they don't necessarily, you know, fit the mold of our wholesale program. We want to find a way to make it work for everyone. So we, while we do have pricing and we do have minimums, um, we can find ways to, you know, work with everyone and wouldn't want you know, any of that to steer people away. Cause we want to find a way to, like I said, we have, we have people that are just traveling and their massage therapists in their car making, you know, making that experience work. So um, we do, and I'll definitely provide some more info after. Awesome. Thank you. All right. I'll hand it back to you. Cool. So um, does anyone else want to chime in with any questions just really quickly um, while Holly's asking a few? Cool. All right. Well, I just kind of wanted to touch on, you know, the three probably most applicable, you know, APRA activity options, and they can fit, you know, any different type of business. So to begin, um, I know I mentioned the self-serve is an option. So um, what some people are doing is the recovery lounge. And typically what that looks like, um, I'm going to keep the products up because that kind of makes sense. Um, what that typically looks like is maybe a couple of hypervolts in a charging base, um, these Normatec boots, maybe two sets of these in chairs, and then maybe this Venom back that you can strap on, sit in the Normatec boots and use the hypervolt. That's, that's my dream. I would love to sit in that chair. Um, but that is something that you can offer, you know, it, whether it's just in, you have like some area in your whether it's a day spot and you have a little bit of area in your entry or in your lounge when people come in and you say, hey, we have this little section of our spa that's dedicated to, maybe you have members that are paying to come and get a massage every month and you wanna incorporate that into their membership. Or maybe you have people, hey, if you pay $50 a month, you can come in and use these products whenever you want. You just have to book a time slot or something like that. There's a lot of different ways that you can go about self-serve or even if you are, you know, a bigger resort location and you want to have them in the fitness, you know, in the fitness center 
where people have a charging station and they come in and maybe after a program class, the instructor walks them through an assisted stretching. That's one way um, you can go about it. And that is kind of a, that's not a one size fits all model because, you know, like I mentioned, it's the flow of guests through the spa or um, the clientele base is always going to look a little bit different, but that's always an option because that also doesn't take up any hands. So basically all you would need is your front desk staff or your spa techs knowing how to kind of start the Norma tech um, and explain how to use maybe the hypervolt or turn on the venom, the venom, but all of these products, they are designed to be end user products. So they're not, you know, equipment that somebody walking into the spa has to be trained on using. Um, anybody can start the Norma tech. It's super simple while they're kind of intimidating. You literally just turn it on set the intensity, set the time and hit start. And that's it. Super easy. So that's one thing that's cool is because these are designed for anybody to go online and buy and use them at home. They're definitely something you can offer as self-serve. So that's been really cool in, you know, active communities like yours. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for that aspect of it. So if, does anybody have any questions on the self-serve option? It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, self I've seen a lot of yeah. It's it's cool. I mean, I think it's a nice way to um, sort of make a positive impact and a real meaningful impact um, to your to your customer um, and guests, regardless of whether you put it into a relaxation lounge, a recovery room, or even inside a treatment room, and add that you know into sort of your protocol for you know during a facial or what have you. So cool. Definitely, definitely. And then I would say the most popular application of the products, um, no matter what the entity is, would be as an in-service enhancement. Um, that's definitely the number one most popular way to incorporate both the hypervolt and the venom. As you mentioned, you can use them in, you know, for nail services or facials, or also the Normatec um, is also an option. Let me scroll down a little bit. And how I'll kind of touch on the difference between these two. So the Hypervolt is great for a massage enhancement because it doesn't add on any time. We recommend about 10 minutes or less as an enhancement. And as I mentioned, um, this is the revenue opportunity just based on you know some hypothetical numbers that we ran. If you're charging a dollar a minute, say $10 in enhancement and you have three Hypervolts. And then say on average, you're doing five a day. So that could be a little high, could be a little low, depending on how many treatment rooms you have. Um, but kind of based on those averages, you could be, you know, breaking even in as quickly as a less than a week or maybe two weeks if you have six. It kind of just depends on how many you have. Um, but we like to put together and paint this picture. But the Hypervolt is really popular um, as a massage enhancement. Can also be an option to add to nail services if you want to kind of combine the, you know, self-serve and um, also with the enhancement option. So you could give somebody who's getting a pedicure, a hypervolt or a venom. And then also the Norma tech can be used as an enhancement as well. This one more for facials um, because while somebody's lying down in the chair, they can put on the Norma tech, zip them up and get a facial. And then they have new legs and new skin, which is a great dream in my opinion. I would love to get to use the Norma Tex in a facial, um, but within service. So how that kind of works, simple pricing model, just like every other one of your enhancements that you're offering. Um, and this is something that has fit just about every spa partner that we've worked with is the in-service enhancement because it doesn't add time and it's just a paid add-on um, and simple training. So that's what's awesome about it and kind of a low cost in comparison to some other add-ons that you can you know, introduce to your location. Next would be the express treatment option. So similar to the self-serve, but if you wanna have somebody maybe kind of setting up some aromatherapy while you're doing an express treatment of Norma Tech with maybe one of your, you know, some people have mini facial options. Okay, so then you can come in and maybe you pay for like uh, express renewal treatment where you come in, you get a quick mini facial, and then you get a quick session on the Norma tech and some aromatherapy. So you can put together, maybe somebody can pay for three a month for some kind of price, whatever kind of works for you. Um, and then lastly, 
would be the option, and this is the treatment option spelled out. So as an enhancement, express, or service element. Lastly would be if you wanted to put together a full menu offering. So that, that typically with our products looks like a sports recovery treatment. So maybe you already have the Hypervolt incorporated and then you do 40 minutes of hands-on deep tissue massage and then end with a 30 minute Normatec session, kind of based on the timing of your menu. So that would be kind of a brief snapshot of in-service, um, but like I said, it can look different for everyone, but just to kind of touch on those three. So are there any questions on that element at all? Not looking that way, but I'll tell you what, if I was managing a spa right now, I'd be all over that. <laughs> <laughs> it's de it's definitely, it. <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely great for active guests like you all have, because a lot of people that are very active are familiar with these products and see them a lot. Um, so they're very likely to, you know, add them on or try them maybe if they've seen them everywhere and they haven't tried them before. Um, I would say you guys are unique and that you have a very active clientele base. And so this could be some really, a really good option for you guys. Um, and then lastly, uh, so this is, I'm just going to briefly touch on this. I did in the spa deck because um, this is specifically for hospitality. So if your guests are staying, um, the in-room aspect. So this is the offering. Um, we have a whole logistics PDF right here, just an example of how you can easily launch this. It's something that looks like it's a lot of work, but actually once you kind of get down to it, we are there to support with any like marketing materials or um, images that you need to kind of put this together and market it or announcements, things like that. And we can help with figuring out what products works, work best, things like that. Really the only thing is working out the logistics. So is it coming from the front desk? Is it coming from the spa? Is housekeeping the one, you know, picking it up? Um, it's different for everyone. It seems like what's been working out the best just kind of touch on that right away would just be checking it out from the spa and then returning it at the end of the stay has made the most sense for people. But this would be the third option that I would touch on works pretty great in your region with all the activities that are going on. People just want to kind of hang out in their room, put the Normatex on, have their Apra ski drink and watch a movie after being out in the cold all day. So this would be that third option that I wanted to introduce to you guys today. Um, but from there, we have a lot of different options, whether it's, you know, checking out a backpack, whether for some locations we have, you know, different ways we can get creative in room. So it's already there. Um, and then a lot of times the best way to go about helping the guests figure out how to, you know, use the best use the products is just giving them information on our app. Um, there's a lot of great educational videos and walkthroughs on there. So that is the third and final option that I wanted to kind of touch with you guys today. So does anybody have any questions at all on anything or um, specific to your location? Or is there anything else that I could kind of expand on? I know we're wrapping up soon. So I just wanted to ask. I got to tell you, I think people are excited about it. I mean, you, you, you were so thorough. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you as many questions because of how thorough you are. Um, no, I think this is really neat, um, you know, having um, access to, um, or I guess the ability to be able to take your product and put it into the guest room experience, I think is really awesome. A number of years ago, I um, uh, opened a hotel and spa in the Houston area, and we had four um, wellness rooms that I oversaw and created this wellness experience. And man, I wish I had that. That was like six years ago. Yeah. Now that I'm ad adding it, to I think it's, yeah, six years. So it's been a while, but um, I would say that this would have been a really cool addition um, to that experience, whether leaving it in the room or not. Um, yeah. To anybody else, do you have any other? Anyone have any questions or? Be a good little group. They're just learning a whole bunch. I love it. Um, Haley, I love that you were here today. Thank you for letting us test out Facebook Live on you. Uh, yeah, I honestly, I was, was awesome. intimidated that I was going to have to be the guinea pig for the, for the Facebook Live. It turned out to be great. <laughs> and we're awesome. Surprised. 
still live. So um, I love that. But, you know, this was a perfect presentation, though, for it. So I, I think it, it went really well. Thank you so much. I'm seeing a lot of thank yous in the chat. Um, so if there aren't any other really, you know, questions, um, you know, obviously you can follow Hyperice on all the different social media handles, including Facebook. Um, and of course, if you haven't already uh, joined us via uh, Zoom, which is where we're hosting this, uh, I guess, spotlight today, uh, definitely shoot me an email with your address, uh, email address and phone number, and we'll make sure that Haley gets that as well and we can help to connect you guys. But um, this was a lot of fun. I, I, I loved, um, A, I loved all the information. Um, B, I have to have a copy of this presentation that you did, the, <laughs> the, the PDF or whatever, the PowerPoint. Um, I'd love to put that on our website as well. If you want to watch a replay, I would imagine you can do that on Facebook Live, but, you know, learning as we go. But you can definitely watch a replay uh, on our website, Rocky Mountain Spa, ASSOC.com. Uh, just take a look under our events page and uh, select Spotlight Series Virtual Playback. And you can take a look at this. It'll be uh, up on the website tomorrow. Haley, thank you. Ever yeah, thank you and thank everyone um, for tuning in. I know there's a lot, a lot of these that you can choose to hub on and a lot that you can choose not to. So thank you for joining us today. And Holly, as always, it's a pleasure. Um, and I hope you guys aren't getting snowed on too much wherever you all are. Because I know oh, no, we need it. Really we want it. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Uh, the mountains. I've heard it's been a little this light. afternoon for like three days. We need it badly. So <laughs> we awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks again, um, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys next week, noon Mountain Time, where we're going to meet with uh, Focus on Beauty Brands. So see you next week. Have a good one. Bye, you guys.